that's the beam bed almost done I've just got to put uh, connections on those two bits there and then I've got to bury it but unfortunately today the ground is frozen solid so uh, that will have to wait for another day but as I've brought the tools in I'm going to finish this job and uh, to connect those I need 30 millimeter long roofing bolts which are longer than uh, the ones I normally use because obviously you've got the thickness of that then you've got the thickness of this and on top of that you've got to actually have enough bolts come through so I can actually put a knot on it at the other end so uh, I need the longer bolts that breeze block uh, is there because I used it to balance these on whilst I was putting those ends on so that's not going to stay there obviously once I've straightened it up and uh, put it into the ground it's not going to have that kink in it but uh, you know, it sort of bows out there but that's because of its own weight but once it's actually in the ground it'll be straight so uh, that'll be fine what I'll do today is just connect those bits in the middle which I didn't get around to the other day and these ends are like here my other plastic beds the gutter bolted onto the uh, plastic at that end same on that corner and then a sheet of plastic is gone at the end the short end now this plastic has got uh, like an L shape so it comes down and then at the bottom there is this lip I've put the lips on the outside so that when it's buried if a mouse tries to go in and dig down it'll hit the lip and then it will think oh that's uh, something because a mouse it will only dig a small hole so uh, if it hits that hopefully it should deter it well that's the theory anyway so that's why the lip is on the outside and on this side it's on the outside as well so it's on there whether it will actually deter mice from digging under I don't know but we'll see why, how it goes right the beam bed is finished and uh, the joins are good this is where the joins are and that's the other side so I'm pleased with that and this plastic without support it's meant to be flexible so it uh, will bow out a bit if it's not uh, got some support so uh, I need to partly bury that in the ground which is what I was going to do anyway and the reason I didn't dig the trenches first before making the bed was that uh, it was difficult to connect all these bits and corners and things whilst it was in a trench so it was easier to uh, put the bed together and then dig out under the edges it is a bit cold I've had a bit of a test dig and it should be all right for doing this I wouldn't dig over beds in this uh, weather but uh, for digging this in I should be fine now I don't have a lot of room for manoeuvre because this centre piece of the trellis you've got a piece there and that is actually concrete and you can see that it's actually concrete right up to if I lift that you can see that's all concrete so uh, I have to be on that side and on this side it's the same story this is in concrete so the width from well, that concrete is about there to just about there so and that's more or less precisely the edge of the bed so I haven't really got much wiggle room so I'm going to start from the middle and get this bit sorted and then go to the edges on that side and then on that side now this plot drops a good 40 centimeters from that end to the other end so obviously if I try and make this level that end would be mostly buried and this end would be almost entirely out of the ground which would look silly so I'm just going to follow the natural slope of the ground I'm going to dig a trench 10 centimeters down and uh, bury this in all right you can see the edge of the post holder it's actually some piece of plastic and they've then poured concrete into it so that's where the edge will go and it'll obviously go down right the bean bed is dug in so it looks higher at this end because I've obviously put some weight on this side of the trench now obviously it has a tendency to bow in the middle so just to keep it straight I'm putting in some uh, bamboo canes 
but the battery seems to be running out so uh, I'll not film me filling the hole in. I ran out of time the other day so uh, I didn't film anything and the ground has been frozen the last few days so I've not done anything but uh, you can see how tight it is the length of it I've barely got half a finger's width between the edge and that side and this edge is I mean I can't even get my finger down there that is basically just under a finger's width of uh, space between that lump of concrete so uh, it was a pretty tight squeeze <laughs> but I managed it and I've done this edge finished it okay it's not dead straight but uh, it is an allotment bed it's not dining room furniture so I'm not worried about that and uh, that half is done so basically all I've got to do is uh, go through and do this half and then we're done well that's the bed finished it's all done and dusted now all I've got to do is uh, bring in some wood chips for the paths but I can do that later when we get some wood chips so next job is to put some manure on the bed I'm not going to dig it in just going to put it on top and let the worms do the work Some people are heavy handed with the manure but uh, I don't like to put too much on so it's just a thin layer really I don't put like half a ton of manure on each bed that's ridiculous so uh, I'm going to spread that and that's done right that bed is now completely manured you can see better so uh, I'll just put it on and spray this around a bit the weather and the worms will uh, break that up because I don't need this bed till June and by then this will be pretty well finished so uh, I'll pull these out I mean some of these I can pull out anyway and then that's done bar the last part which is to put the strings on but I won't do that till uh, sort of late May early June there's no point doing it now where I've got more important jobs to do so uh, that can wait till June 